The crypto bull run is about to go ballistic. If you are not well positioned in this market right here, right now, for this cycle, I don't know what you're doing with me on this channel. But I've been sharing, pumping, ironically, 27, 27 views. But let's not even waste another moment here, guys, because right now, that doesn't matter. I'm just here bringing to you absolute killer alpha because right now is not the time to be ignoring crypto. Right now does not matter about the dips. We're going to talk about these in a little bit of a moment. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because I have an awesome short video right here just for you. All right, experience this next level drop below. So now our head and shoulder has been invalidated. So remember I said shoulder, head, shoulder. It is now invalidated because the next level is down. So we've created a number of higher, uh, lower highs and lower lows here. Essentially right now where I am drawing in this very solid line and this channel down here. However, I do want to draw in for you this particular one that I see that is somewhat a little bit of a different pattern and is the potential of the falling wedge pattern in this mechanism. So here is the channel, here is the chan the wedge, okay? This is a downsloping channel if we look at these lines here. And now bearing in mind that it wicked down all the way on Friday, pretty much to my white box that I drew for you guys. If you weren't watching this video and this video and this video, I don't <laughs> China's beautiful ladies and gentlemen, look at the level that I put there for you. Look at how it just reached down there gave us this pullback on the RSI, MACD and PMO and has now given us a launch pad because we pulled back right back into the yellow box zone here that I have been talking about with you for some time now. We have found some support somewhat and we are potentially getting ready to make our next move up. Now the very interesting thing here is we are looking at a little bit of bullish divergence because on the chart, the low Okay, here and here, and I just want to draw this in for you. Click there and click there. Those two lows are officially the two lows that we can see that are creating the two higher lows here on the stochastic RSI, which is bullish divergence, hidden bullish divergence. So let us get cracking on with some of the awesome content here in this video. Make sure to stay tuned right to the very end. And if you want to trade with me, come and trade with me. I got stopped out guys it wicked way down below my level here and it literally just touched because my stop loss was at 53,333 and i said i was going to wait until it reached there but it went there so fast during some of my meetings on friday i got stopped out so that was a shit one for me but it is what it is and unfortunately i haven't got back into those trades because i did say to you 50,000 to 51,000, I will enter into my trades. So there are my two new trades. We haven't pulled down to that level. And honestly, it does not look like we're about to do that. So I know a bit of a boo-boo, but hey man, my Ethereum trade is still okay. Bitcoin is looking like it wants to bounce off of this level. We are seeing the higher lows and essentially these lower, uh, lower lows on the wicks. So on the candle. So it is what it is. I have got a couple entries in uh, limit orders into a couple other trades, so we'll see what happens. But we have essentially been pushing quite high up here in the space. And right now we are seeing the fear and greed index literally drop on its ass down to 29. We are in very strong fear territory. And remember, fear territory is for buying, okay? And if we go any lower here into extreme fear, my goodness me, what a better opportunity to buy then right now because the market cap of crypto almost dipped down back into the 1.9 trillion dollar level it went down the other day to about two point just above two trillion dollar level which is very interesting okay but since then we've had we've had some recoveries on some of these coins but tether has remained very stable in its market cap and the others haven't because the others have obviously been absolutely obliterated now let's move on from here and let's go and see what that would mean if you were trading with me down below hopefully we get into some trades we don't know but i will look at what this does here at this level 
and we will see if the bullish hidden divergence plays out and pulls us up to there if it does then i lost out on the trade and that is just unfortunately what it is but hey possibly we come down to the 50 to 52k level like i have been showing you or did we already let me know what you think down in the comments below but here is essentially the level that i spoke about so we are well under the ribbon now we need to get right back above it right above the channel so maybe this is the last brush out for the momentum to push to the upside let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below please so as you know there has been so many things that have been happening in this space as you can see in the rest of this video i am going to show you some massive awesome news that is about to tell us that this wonderful m2 money supply right here that i have been talking about with this very strong buy signal currently unfolding what is it that we are about to see happen out there in this wonderful world because remember that this is only the united states m2 money supply and yes the dollar is the dominant currency across the world but with momentum uh slowing down on sell pressure and looking to turn up the stochastic turning up the macd getting ready to turn up or it is turning up right now i don't know about you but m2 money supply from the dixie and the dollar is about to pump all right let's go and have a look at a couple other charts here so this is now the world to uh, m2 growth of the federal reserve the ecb the bank of canada and the boj this is year on year and let's go and have a very nice squeeze of this chart on a closer perspective so as you can see here this is all the way down from 2011 the green uh, the yellow line is bitcoin and then the blue is the m2 money supply so it's quite a clean chart to look at i'm going to show you a little bit more of a, a technical chart in a moment so i hope you are having fun with that but make sure to join the community if you're watching this and haven't yet jo joined the community because you are getting some of this alpha here first in the crypto space m2 money supply look at what happens it rallied all the way up there and it was at its peak then all of a sudden during the bear market we were told that it was going to come down okay then the same thing happened from the bottom here that m2 money supply would increase and look it did increase throughout this time it did increase okay then all of a sudden it plunged all the way back down then it started to increase as the bitcoin chart increased again too we had a short moment of a soft return but bitcoin slowly crept up until we had this major increase in liquidity in the markets okay which was very very intense and then it started to top out here at around the same level back here so as you can see here that seems to be about the average but the liquidity since there has grown in the previous cycle now remembering that bitcoin continues in four-year cycles right this is the one-year bear market one-year bear market one-year bear market one-year bear market and then a three-year bull cycle now that is all according to so here is the bottom of the bear market and guess what the liquidity started to increase dramatically so but not a lot of it came into bitcoin yet and why is that well the liquidity has been drenched down here in fact the worst drained out of the liquidity since bitcoin's inception the liquidity has slowly but surely increased very very so slightly and diminished ever so slightly here since the fed paused interest rates okay which has now been several months since they paused federal reserve rates and the etf was promised a launch check out that launch pad there that was all that happened and came in so far we have not even begun this bull cycle yet okay so i don't know about you but i am very ready because if you look at the 100k level here on bitcoin that was like right around the corner here could we explode through okay because generally when the liquidity comes in we go from one level to the next from one level to the next from one level to the next one level to the next one level are we going to see a million dollar bitcoin this cycle let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i'd love to hear what my community thinks now a little bit more of a technical chart right here is bitcoin and m2 global supply so the same ones except now this is including jp uh, jp morgan 
uh, Fed, ECB, GBM, uh, Chinese, and of course, JPM. So, and a number of others. Now, this is from May 2013 to July 1st. So, this is a very, very, very recent chart. BTC being the black line, M2 being the green or the orange, whether it goes increases, okay, and M2 global supply, which is the blue line. Very interesting that ever since M2 increased, Bitcoin has followed M2. Ever since M2 decreases, it then, you can see here, M2 decreases, bear market. M2 right there started to decrease. This was the bear market, started here. FTX was here. This was the collapse that forced the bear market, okay, the liquidity crisis to come in. We have had some of the deepest levels that we have seen with a negative 3.73 M2 growth. So in other words, 3.7% of the M2 money supply came out of the market. Where did it go? Where did it go? The Fed absorbed it back in. They bought more repo rates, bonds, all kinds of junk papers and all kinds of things that they're essentially just going to continue to sell out into the market. And guess what? Here was the bottom of the market. And then what happened? M2 money supply started to increase once again. Bitcoin started to increase once again. Look at the M2 growth, okay? The M2 growth is busy growing. It is not going to come back in. The M2 growth, okay, is going to explode beyond $102 trillion like it did in the previous cycle. And I have some more evidence to show you why that's going to happen. But if you are enjoying this so far, please subscribe to the Crypto Bullish channel because you can see that I'm bringing to you absolutely killer alpha every single time I possibly can. So with the M2, very simple chart, M2 just very much increasing the entire time, Bitcoin increases too. So the more global M2 increases, okay, currently sitting at $90 trillion, more or less, currently, okay, undiscovered territory right here bitcoin is sub 100k i wonder what happens once the liquidity absolutely increases because from this first bear market bottom okay we were sitting at m2 of 55 it then at the peak increased to 70 that's 20 trillion dollars that was put into the market and then here was the bottom and not much came out look what came out Two trillion came out of the market. That's all that came out of the market. Two trillion dollars came out of the market in that bear cycle. Okay. That is squat in comparison to the 20, the 10x that they printed. The same thing applies here. Okay. 67 right there at the bottom. Okay. 68 right there at the bottom. And all the way at the peak here. In fact, there I'm going to give you the peak peak. That was at 91. They added another $21 trillion into the market. Just US, uh, sorry, global M2 supply. $20 trillion. They are at the worst position they have ever been in right now, right today. And I will show you some more evidence based on that in a moment. So make sure you are with me. <coughs> 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 Choke in. So, right now you can see here that the data that is telling us that upon the breakout and the support of this level here, very, very simply so, okay, we should see the global liquidity increase another 20 trillion from where it is today, which will lead us. And that's minimum up to about 112, 115 trillion, which super, which exceeds this $110 trillion level all the way up here. Okay. Which tells me that right now we're about to see something absolutely catastrophic happen for the dollar. Hence my thumbnail and hence the title of my video that the biggest bull cycle is yet to come. This will be the one that will be life changing for you and for me and for everybody else that got in early into crypto because 
anything before today's date is actually early. Anything beyond today's date could possibly be a little bit late. With the total market cap, okay, and I've shown you quadrillions before in this video, if you recall, but $110 trillion total market cap for all of the assets, according to this, that is excluding the debts of the world, the bond market of the world, property market, the uh, e ETFs, the perpetuals, the derivatives, that's excluding the entire system that I have shown you before, that is worth a couple uh, quadrillion already, I think three or four quadrillion already. Now these are tiny assets at 16 trillion and 16 trillion and three and a half trillion, it's just absolutely ludicrous. As Bitcoin holds on to its, um, as Bitcoin holds on to its absolutely incredible 10th position here. And while the rest of these still fight for second, third and fourth place right here, right now, with the three top ass performing assets in the world right now. So let's move on because total debt to assets uh, equals the ratio. And look at the formula, very, very simple, equals total debt divided by total assets, okay? So short-term plus long-term debt. So in other words, all debt divided by total assets will give you the result, which generally ends up being less than 1% or 100%, okay? And generally, that gives you the ability to meet the debt. So total debt, to give you an idea whether an asset is in liquidity or not, Google, with total debt of 107, um, 107 billion, their total assets are 359 billion. So it's a 330% or a three to one ratio, essentially. Costco is a five, is a 50% because they've got 31 billion in debt and total assets 63 billion. Hertz is 87%, so that's quite close to being pretty much insolvent, okay? So you can see how debt to total ratio and the reason I'm showing you this right now is stay tuned because the next couple of things are going to show you exactly why. Because the value of assets on the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve from August 2007 to May 2024, right now, the value of the assets has increased, okay? And the assets is paper dollars. Now, since May 10th, uh, 22, we have decreased in asset holdings, okay? It used to be around 8.94 trillion dollars in assets it's now at the bottom here 7.3 just it's about a one and a half trillion dollar asset devaluation on their balance sheet why is this so significant well with global assets that are under asset management set to rise by 145 trillion by 2025 possibly according to an asset and wealth management uh um, manager at PwC is talking about 145 trillion okay so US 85 trillion in 2016 to 111 trillion by 2020 and then again 145 trillion by 2025 and I'm pretty sure on my chart that I just shared with you over here I said we were going to go to 111 trillion this dude is talking about 145 trillion did you just hear what it is that I said? <laughs> okay. All right. So 145 trillion. Now I'm going to go on the benefit of the doubt that these calculations are correct based on projected growth rate, annual projected growth rate of each asset class in the market. Bearing in mind that the US debt is literally one, 100 and $16 billion of printing away, which is probably a couple days, away from $35 trillion national debt for the US dollar. But the total debt is now superseding $100 trillion. That is insane, giving us a debt to asset ratio, okay, of 100 and 22%, okay? And a total debt to GDP ratio of 135.53%. That's absolutely ludicrous because 
at 200%, you're completely insolvent, just by the way. So what we're saying here is that the US debt asset ratio, like I showed you here, is essentially sitting at a 1.35%, meaning that the debt is more than the value of the assets. The US, the US economy is completely insolvent. It is in debt. It cannot go anywhere else but print more dollars, which will increase national debt it, and it will just absolutely destroy the economy. And like I've shown you in my charts here that we are ready to, they are ready to pump more liquidity into the market. The global liquidity index being the blue line and the long term cycles being the gray line. We are only just coming out of the bottom here right now and somewhere towards the back end of 2025 or the beginning of 2026 as personal my prediction and a number of others in the space we can see here that that would probably be the end of the global liquidity um, run at this point and then we will see the sucking back in at some point that's just the same cycles that have been repeated constantly but we have never been as low on this chart uh, as we have the kind of previous time we were close here was 2006 the great financial crisis okay but yet this one decreased worse than that financial crisis so we've already seen the market crash we are not going to see a market crash very likely for the next two years 18 months to two years okay so do not be fooled by all of the noise do not be fooled by the market pulling back here right now because i can tell you something with the bullish divergence and the m2 money supply kicking in here you can see that the trends are going up we are about to see some crazy stuff because all the selling that has been happening in germany the german mp joanna kota says that government selling bitcoin is not sensible and says germany should huddle as a strategic reserve asset stating exactly what trump stated just this week now the german mp urges government to develop a comprehensive bitcoin strategy which is inclusive of bitcoin in the state treasury issuing bitcoin bonds and supportive regulations not only that potential trump victory could fuel bitcoin rally in the second half of the year which is from september might i say to you right now is the 7th of july July to July to August, August to September. Sorry, did you just see two fingers on my fingers get two months? Okay, we are two months away from potentially seeing the breakout on Bitcoin chart. So who gives a damn if it's ranging in between the zone and bottoming the shit out of itself right here? Accumulate this asset because you will not get it down at this price again very likely okay it's just my personal view if you think the same let me know down in the comments below but let's move on to one of the last things that i do actually want to share with you right here because even though and i'm not going to share this video with you here is absolute evidence and proof that the u.s economy the printing of money the jobs the entire thing is a fake system it is fake scandalous system Wow, nearly three quarters of the jobs added last month came from government, according to CNBC. Non-farm payrolls, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, last month, fake currency, fake jobs, buy Bitcoin. Because it just is as simple as it is. German government doesn't work on the weekends, and hence why Bitcoin has been now pumping yesterday and today. Friday got, the Friday got sucked up. It was the biggest suck up. And in fact, let's put on our volume profile, our volume profile indicator. Because look at that volume that came in. Hard sell pressure. Cool. We had a little bit of a, a spike down. No problem. Okay. Uh, I want to remove that volume and I want to put the volume flow indicator on here as well. Because you can see that the volume flow indicator has reached its bottom. The volume is about to start to increase once again. 
once again. It just is what it is. So don't be freaking ridiculous because we have broken down from there at the strength down here. We could see some more collapsing. Okay, we could see some more, but look at that very insane strength. But look at the true strength down here at 40K. So even if we pull down to 40K, okay, because there is this massive gap here right now, I would not be freaking scared of getting this asset here. Because look at the support that it has bounced off here at this VPVR level. So I don't know about you, but honestly, don't be afraid. Watch the Bitcoin rainbow chart because the Bitcoin rainbow chart has only ever gone up buy in the blue zones and sells don't sell your bitcoin but take some profits on your trading etc that's how you do to buy more bitcoin so in other words you're buying bitcoin here and you're trading it all the way up here using my bybit link down below you're trading it down with me there you're accumulating it and you're taking a trade through to the extent of the the, the height of the bull cycle you take those profits and you put them into stable coins, earn passive income on your stable coins while the market drops on its ass, okay? And a stable coin is a stable coin. That's as simple as it is. And then you start buying back when the market is back in the blue and the buy and the basically fire sale zones. Really, it's just as simple as it is. Right now, we're in the accumulate zone. Bitcoin is before still cheap, okay? Don't be ridiculous about this, please. Don't be ridiculous because a Bitcoin is still cheap. And by 2035, undoubtedly so, you can see here, according to the Bitcoin rainbow chart, we could see Bitcoin at about $1.3 million at its peak in a cycle. Possibly, let me know what you think down below. But this cycle, by some time, um, I said to you, end of October, so I said October, October, end of October is my preference, somewhere around this zone here, would be the end of the cycle. My personal target is 300,000. You can see right here on the chart is 300,000, wherever I, is that I'm pointing to this date here, 300,000 to 400,000. So I have been trying to be absolutely modest with 300,000, but it could blow it's freaking lid off because of everything that I've expressed on my channel to you previously. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. If you found the content in this video awesome, share some love and we will see you on the next one. Happy Sunday with you and your beautiful family, precious souls. Take care and have a wonderful day ahead. Oh, and please remember to come and join me on my live session tomorrow night, 7 p.m. every single Monday, CAT time.